Hi everyone. Well, as you can see, Jack wants to come out again. And uh, unfortunately, I have to start getting ready to go out to a meeting which I hope will only last about an hour. And then I'll be home and I'll be able to get Jack out. But I won't be able to take him outside because it's an extremely overcast, a rather chilly day actually. Um, the room temperature currently is sitting at 28, so um, it would be warm enough to get Jack out. But you know, sometimes you can't, you just can't. And uh, I have to do certain things and uh, go out and I hate it I just hate it but I'm pretty sure that when I get home Jack will be more than happy to come out then and spend as much time as he he chooses as you can see Jack is using his shelf um, now doesn't actually lay himself there but he utilizes it to get around and do what he he wants to do so um yeah even though i thought oh he's never going to do anything with that shelf but avoid it but absolutely since i've put that red cover on um he will put himself on it so i do know that it has made that shelf um a lot more um, secure for him hey buddy so you know he has plenty of room in this enclosure thank goodness that I don't have to ever contemplate um, making a new home for him he is never going to outgrow this particular enclosure of course this would be the size that I will be needing for Tessa eventually. Um, hers is a, for a while, is only going to be, you know, that 1,000 high, and it's only 550 wide. Um, but, you know, it's 1,200 long, so we'll just see if eventually, you know, I utilize her enclosure for a mayor um, that'll be fine but I will have to look at getting something like this uh, for sure for um, Tessa you know stopping and pausing and thinking uh, mayor Tessa Jesse you know um, lots of names but we'll go over to my girl here who was at that door saying can I please come out to mum which she can and she will be later on absolutely coming out here's jesse um all sprawled out at the moment uh yeah he will probably be out today but this is a mayor's not that you can really see it greatly though this camera does pretty well in um the low light um, but I've got to clean all this up, get this enclosure all set for a mayor today. So oh, I can't really see it with the glare. Mm, that's no good a, a view, but um, that's a glare from the window and um, Missy Moo's enclosure over there. But yes, I will get this done today, get it all cleaned out, get the backing up and secure. Um, she's got a couple of hammocks that I'm going to be putting in for her and some branches and bits and pieces. So uh, she has got a little log in there down the bottom. So uh, yeah, I'll see how I go and get it all going for her. And I'm so sure that she is... Um, really going to appreciate it it's about a 750 high from memory and it is 600 by 600 this enclosure 
The enclosure that she's in currently, as you can see, is probably about 550 high and only 450 either way. And as you can see, she needs a bigger enclosure. That's the end of the story. So today is the day when I get back, I'll get that going. I won't show you the whole thing. I'll, I'll show you as I do bit by bit. So you can see how I actually do it. Um, and I've also got to order a new heat panel today for Tessa so that I can look at in the next couple of weeks working out how I can do this enclosure for her because I have another one of those out in the shed that I can bring in and utilize so I do have of course a heat panel in that one already um, but uh, it's only the I think the 80 watt so she's going to need no it's actually a 40 so she's going to need um, a 80 at least in it and she will also need some ground heat though she will be able to get that um, on kind of jack because his heat panel is here and but I will be switching the heating because currently her heat panel is this side so when I get the new heat panel it will go to this side and then she's going to be able to I'll be able to take these out and the warmth um, and not have her so high off as well I'm kind of hoping to keep her up there I don't don't know you know sizing and fitting in this room is becoming difficult so anyway before I record too much because I may have to end up splitting this in two or I just do test um, a Maya's new enclosure and not Jack coming out and Jack be a later video I'll figure it out but for now I'll just say ciao Well, as you can see, Jack's just happy to sit up there for the minute and I'm quite happy to just leave him up there, I must say. But if I were to open the door, he would come out. There's no doubt about that. And I'm, I will get there, I will get there. But thus far, uh, I've taken out her vine thing that she would normally climb on and uh missy moo uh i don't know if she realizes just yet what's going on but i have started guys so that's um the starting point isn't it at least i've started and I will have it finished tonight and she will be in it tonight absolutely so she's got so far I've put a lower hide in there for her which will be on the cool side um, for her she will also have another hide that will go here um, because then I can fit the suction cup without having to cut into it which I had to um, for this one down here so she'll have another hide um, a hide okay hammock to go up there so she'll be able to get right up under a heap she's not going to have floor heat she's only going to have heat um, from above so I've cleaned it all I've sterilized it all still not looking amazing yet I'm um, still a bit of um, you know on the glass that I need to um, buff out but otherwise it's uh, 
yeah it's it's getting there and you will see of course once that she's in it just how much bigger it is for her so I'll um, be back hopefully with the finished results and it should fit in where she is sitting right now or where her enclosure is right now so I'm keeping my fingers crossed so I'll be back well there you go I finally got it finished thanks to my daughter coming over this afternoon and helping me to move it over here and get the rest of the stuff in of course Amaya isn't in there yet but I will be getting her in there um, of course but I wanted to warm it up a little bit um, I can actually uh, move sorry move this little thermometer over here um, just to keep an idea of what the cool side is though I'm pretty sure it's going to be absolutely fine of course uh, but she's now got her two hammocks so she's got the one right under the heat I can lower that heat light if I don't feel that area is warming up enough but I'm pretty sure that it will so I haven't got a problem with that um, she's also got her cooler side hammock uh, so I'm hoping she'll utilize that and I'm pretty sure she will too with that one I've actually put this in for her but I'm going to tighten it um, with a tie um, here with a hammock so that it's, it feels um, more secure for her I've put her old sticks um, back in here uh, because that will have her smell so you know lots of her old things her vine um, of course her old hammock her hide she's just got a little bush hide with a hole in it at the back there which she liked going under in her other enclosure so pretty sure she'll be happy to see that and of course a new fern um, sitting there and, and giving her a little bit of privacy and uh, not so much up here but she didn't have that really in her other enclosure so I, I really don't think that'll overly bother her so the next bit will be getting her out of her little um, tub that she's sitting in right now and I'll show you me putting her in to her new home so I won't be long all right let's get this lid up are you okay now you decided that it's pretty chill in there she did not like me putting her in there and when I say she didn't like she wasn't defensive she was just let me out and, and climbing up the top and trying to take off so it's not very often my guys go in a tub probably about the only time is when I take them actually uh, to the vet so um, and of course Amaya has never ever been to the vet so you might get a well a little bit of um I'm in uh, zoom guys but yeah a little look at her colors so a little bit dull but still you can kind of see her there so we're gonna get her out if she'll let me um very gently just pick pick her up and bring her out on oh, one handed she's a pretty good squirmer the old Amaya so let's see how she goes um, going in her she's like hang on a minute this is kind of like my old home but not so let's just uh, observe her for a minute she's like another hammock 
although she'll probably head straight down there uh, to that bush hide. But, you know, they're so curious that that's going to get the better of her uh, and she's going to want to just check everything out. Temperatures for a Maya, I keep it around the 30, 31. I don't go any higher than that for a Maya. Um, her humidity is like pretty much for all my other snakes, anywhere from 45 to 55. Um, it doesn't need to be much higher than that and they'll thrive, they'll do um, really well. So um, the temperatures uh, are probably pretty close to what they actually should be at the moment. So I've, I've had the, the heating going in there for a good hour or more. So, um, you know, just getting that temperature right for her. Um, and I'm pretty sure she's just going to be so curious about everything, but a lot of old is in there. So, you know, a few new things, but a lot of old um, as well. And it is a very good idea to have something that has been scented uh, with their, their scent. Um, I think it makes them a little bit more comfortable to begin with certainly after they've been in it for a few days and you didn't particularly want that item, uh, remove it. Um, because by then they've put their smell on many other things um, in their new enclosure. So uh, she's not due for a feed um, for a few days, um, Amaya. So she should be pretty okay. Um, to eat in a few days. I have that side of her enclosure covered of course the back is. That side I've left open. Um, that just faces into where I am and I've always had that side open so that's nothing new for her. Um, I don't think that's going to bother her too much. Um, that one side of her enclosure she can see through. Of course if I feel that it may be um, I can cover that in, um, that, that isn't a problem. And I do suggest when you get a new one um, and if you have a glass enclosure, which this one is, um, to cover in the back and the two sides for them. Uh, especially when you first put them in, um, that doesn't mean that it has to stay that way for the rest of their life. Of course, this is a stepping stone for Amaya. This is certainly not her permanent. And if you actually have a look, um, this was what Tessa was in, guys, uh, for a while. So she kind of outgrew it and went into, of course, the one she's in now. And that's not going to be forever either. So Amaya gets the pleasure of this and when of course Amaya grows out of this I will probably put a Pani in here and even though it's got more height than it does you know floor space a Pani as you know loves to be up in a hammock anyway so but even so does Maya so I don't think this height is a real bother for my spotteds and this will be a Pani's permanent home. So it's kind of working okay so far. And the only one that I've got to be concerned about now for permanent home is Tessa at this point. And I've just ordered her 80 watt heat panel today. So, and a couple of extra large hides coming as well so yeah it's uh, Tessa's turn next so I'm just going to leave little Amaya checking things out guys so this is the end of the video and probably quite a long video 
so I apologize but guys Jack hasn't come out as you saw briefly but you take care of yourself your family your friends and of course I'll zoom in and uh, get a bit of a focus on her and a and a maya yeah I'll take care of a maya you take care of your snakes and all your animals. Ciao.